November 9 station. Uh, you might be just slightly off uh, frequency. Uh, uh, come back and uh, tell me uh, uh, in about 10 seconds on your antenna situation. Let me listen to you. Yeah, no problem there. Uh, that off frequency is an issue I may have to deal with. And we're connected to a G5RV hung up in the tree here, about 40 feet. Running 100 watts from our old uh, Yazoo FT 890. Uh, go ahead. Roger, and what's the name there? Uh, sorry about that. The name here is Jim. We'll get to the uh, mic. Thank you. Roger, Jim, and what's your location? We're located in the south suburbs of Chicago, about 30 miles south of downtown Chicago. Roger, Jim. Okay, uh, let's see if you would be interested in getting your signal a little bit fatter. Uh, maybe we can work on the frequency uh, thing uh, in just a minute. Let's uh, do a little setup on your radio. It uh, starts with uh, your compressor engaged at a 3. Engage your compressor at a 3. Roger. Okay, once you engage your compressor at a 3, move to your ALC with mic gain in hand and adjust your ALC for mid-scale to two-thirds. You'll have to speak a little bit quicker, one, two, three, four, five, in order to keep that meter up to see how to adjust it mid-scale to two-thirds. All right, we'll just adjust it uh, for mid-scale to two-thirds uh, by way of mic gain control. Two-thirds uh, by way of mic gain control. Uh, exactly, I'm bringing it down. Uh, right about uh, there. Okay, Jim, uh, just out of curiosity, I want you to come right up on your microphone and say, one. Microphone and say, one. Okay, I was just trying to see uh, how much uh, fade we're having there. It uh, looks uh, pretty severe. Maybe it will come back in a minute. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll hang out here for a minute. Uh, uh, this is uh, KC9VKV. Uh, come on back and let me hear you, sir. Uh, hang on, let's uh, work on this just for a minute, if you would, Jim. I've got my uh, uh, my Milford uh, SDR up. It had uh, kicked me off, but I'm back up now, and I think you may be better on uh, Milford. Uh, come back and talk to me for a minute, and let me see how Milford's doing. Yeah, the Milford SDR is, is a lot better than where I was. Now, I'm just curious, do you know on that radio if you're, um, oh gosh, uh, um, your what is that, uh, receive, um, check your receive, uh, uh, f make sure that you're not, uh, uh, um, gosh, what do they call that? Not BFO, but the the other, um, where you can go uh, plus or minus a few degrees on uh, on your uh, receive audio. Make sure that's set. All your uh, your frequency controls are set to zero. Roger. Controls are set to zero. Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. The uh, clear fire is turned off. Everybody else should be uh, pretty much called out here. So, and I am on. Uh, According to the display, it's at 180. 
Yeah, it uh, sounds like it might be just just ever so slightly low in frequency. Not uh, anything that has to do with intelligibility, just that it might be just slightly uh, low in uh, frequency. And I was uh, just curious if the clarifier might have been on. Sometimes some uh, transceivers, the clarifier operates uh, up into the uh, transmit position. Some some don't, you know. But it's uh, you know when uh, you do have a frequency discre- discrepancy, the first thing is to uh, check the to make sure the clarifier is off. Roger. Clarifier is off. Roger. Uh, Roger on that. Well, all right, Jim, I think we're there. Uh, gosh, uh, uh, you're, you know, uh, outside of the frequency thing. I think uh, your uh, audio's uh, A-OK, Roger. Uh, A-OK, Roger. I appreciate it. I will definitely listen in on the uh, video. And I uh, want to make sure Yes, sir. 73 of that way, sir.